What did I do there? It's, this concept is actually so simple, but it's a core idea in the McGregor method. It's just a three-part thing, and it can be used tons of different ways depending on the circumstance. In that exact scenario, I've got this far. Blades are crossed about halfway up. This is called being at the half sword in broadsword terminology because we're halfway up the swords, right? Totally different than what's called half sorting in long sword fencing, different concept. Once I'm halfway up the sword, I have what is called contact in the McGregor method. Contact is followed by control. To get control in this case, I push in down towards his fort, robbing him of the leverage to control his own weapon. I grab his hand, take him off his center line, cut his spinal cord from behind. Now, we'll show a completely different way to do the exact same simple thing. But Matt, you just fence openly, don't try to give me anything, all right? Okay, he got me in the fingers. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So you'll see these moves in a lot of uh, Dow forms, if I remember correctly, where <clears throat> there's a movement that looks like this, mm -hmm. and then a movement that looks like this. Yeah. That's exactly what I just did. It's also the same concept as in the McGregor method. If you think of this in broadsword terms, it's uh, uh, he cuts seven, St. George's guard, bind, and it's also, in McGregor method terms, it's contact, control, kill, as in contact, control, kill. But as I showed, it just you can see you can see movements that look exactly like that in plenty of Chinese forms. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, just bend openly. All right, same exact thing. The contact, this is crucial to realize, the contact has to happen at least halfway up the sword blade, otherwise you can't get control. But it's, he makes a cut down over on this side. There, we're halfway, more than halfway up the sword blade. Contact is followed by control control is followed by kill. Now, the one that I think is probably most common and more, more than in any other Chinese Tao form that I've seen is off what we would call an inside half hanger. So I'm going to see if I can get that. Yes? Mm -hmm. That's actually really, really easy to do. You just can't think of it the wrong way. You can't think of it like he gets here, I parry, and then I sweep it around while he stands there and just lets me do it. Mm -hmm. That's done in applications just to show the actual physical movements. But tactically, it can't be done that way because he's going to move. Right. It has to be done with us crashing together like two stags butting heads. When he tries to come in, I take his space prior to him having any opportunity to move back. It's super aggressive. It's explosive. Yeah. Okay? That's a very common uh, gen technique. Yeah, well. sure. Yeah. So. Again, in terms of um, the principles involved in McGregor method terms, it couldn't be simpler. <clears throat> it's contact, control, kill. Okay? So what, what I'm seeing here is, is you're really controlling that distance. Yes. Carefully. The second I have contact at the half sword, I will explode into his face. Mm -hmm. This is how to do it wrong. <clears throat> so what was wrong with that? I am, no, it's not that it was too late. It was too late for a reason. The, the mistake happened before it was too late. The mistake happened when I tried to close in after I only had that much contact. Yeah. Okay? I can't get control from having that small an area of contact. The contact has to be at the half sword. Mm -hmm. If the contact is at the half sword, we're in close enough distance for me to realistically get control. If the contact is not at the half sword, we're not. And any attempt to close in on him would just be like trying to make a charge into a, a row of machine guns. You're just going to get killed before you even get close. Right. Okay. So now we're going to fence uh, openly for a couple of minutes. Matt's going to do anything he wants. I'm just going to try to apply these concepts. But remember this. It's contact, control, kill. It's really, really simple. It's not based on specific techniques. Don't even think about specific techniques. All the techniques in the forms will happen on their own as long as you just use contact, control, kill. And as long as you remember that contact means contact at the half sword. 
all right? Okay. And you, that you explode into his face. You don't, there, there's nothing gentle about this. You have to have, you have to have boldness to pull this off, all right? When you're using this contact control kill strategy, the guy with the shorter weapon actually has the advantage. Got the idea? Yep. Try it. Well, there's another thing I want to ask you about. Yeah. There's a lot of this stuff. Oh, yeah, sure. Same idea, actually. It actually just gives you more leverage for the same thing. <clears throat> they use this, uh, I think, in some German Messer tactics as well. And a Messer is very similar weapon to this type of DAO. Okay. Same thing, just open that. It adds to the leverage you can apply at contact, so it increases your ability to get control. But you still need to be at half storage. Oh, absolutely. You can't yeah. overcome that with that. No. Got the idea? Mm -hmm. Try it. Remember, boldness. If you hold back at all, it will not work. Elmo, don't try for anything small, only try for these close-in tactics. Try to set them up, ignore any opportunities for smaller things. Matt, you shouldn't have, uh, while his blade was still in contact with your body, you should not have let go of control. He didn't have a cut until you let your arm up because you decided the fight was over. You should have... Yeah, it was a very significant uh... Yeah, he only got the draw cut when you let your arm open. Oh. Yeah. You should have used the, the uh, contact with him and your arm around his weapon to throw him. Yeah, you tried to close in without really having the half sword. Yep. Once you have the half sword, you have less than half a second to charge in there. Also, when you close in, you have to take his weapon arm and move it off of, you have to move his center line so that you're twisting up his center line. You can't just grab his weapon arm and lift it up. You have to either lift him up onto the balls of his feet so his center line is broken, or twist his body so his center line is broken.
Nice. Nice. You got it.